You know what I did the other night? I was so mad at myself. I oversalted my noodles and they were too salty. Oh, really? Yeah, I went. You must have really gone for it. You have to I put, you really have, did. You have to put I, quite a lot in for that. Well, that's what I do. I overdo <laughs> everything and I overdid the salt and I'd never done that before, but it was uh, inedible and I was shocked. Well, listen, um, you won't do it again. No, and, and I learned my lesson. Just, what I do every time I do, I always just put my finger in very quickly and taste it and you want it to sort of taste... Uh, not you like a, the sea. Yeah, yeah, not, not as salty as the sea. Not, oh. um, but it depends what sea you go to and the, and the pollution locally. That's true. Uh, so we're going to go in with the prawns here. These cook really quick, like a couple of minutes, like that. We'll just move that around. So what we want to do, ladies and gents, is kind of create this very simple, humble sauce. And, and a lot of pasta is about texture. So we have oil here in the harissa, and we've used oil in the pan. There's oil in the heads as well, right? And then we have water here. So it's that coming together of the oil and the water and the lemon juice that gives you that delicate, silky sauce. And it's all about texture, not just flavour. And are you going to do one of my favourite things, which is take the pasta straight from the pot yes. into the pan? Yeah. That is such a chef totally. thing, and it's something that saves water and energy and dishes and it gets that pasta water that's full of the carbohydrates okay. that has so much flavor so, but for non-italians right so like pasta is a very emotional thing for italians right um and it's a, about texture and flavor so often with brits and, and americans we take the pot of pasta we put it in the colander yes leave it in the sink sort of steaming away and about 20 minutes later we put it in the sauce yes and it's just it's like it's like a weapon of mass destruction right yes and, and that that's not the heart and soul of italy like italy is about elegance silkiness texture so that's what we're going to do in a second so let's just give these a little bit longer God, this looks so good. Jamie, can I ask you a question? Please do, my when darling. When did you decide, you know what? I'm more Jamie Oliver than the naked chef. Do you, did you have an evolution, a conscious decision? Do you still see yourself as the naked uh, chef? I think the naked chef allow, allowed me a little bit kind of like, it was a bit of a genre buster, a little bit like punk music started. Yes. It allowed me to break through. And then I kind of thought that the best way to keep the story going long term, so it's 25 years, was just to wear my heart on my sleeve, be vulnerable, take myself into places that really frightened me, do documentaries that were really tough. Some of my best work is some of the hardest things I've ever done. Um, and travel the world and celebrate all cultures and all food. And, and um, it's, it's, a, it's, a real, it's a real gift. Um, and I love it. Can I just tell you a little important thing about this? Because it's kind of done now. Very much so. So we're going to... So see this liquid here coming out? This is the gold, right? This is the starchy cooking yes. liquid. Yes. So we're going to just drag that over to here. And it's that liquid. You can see it sort of sizzling away. Can you see there? That creates so the that's sauce. That's sizzling. That's creating that lovely emulsion. So we hit a little lemon juice in there. We hit some of that parsley in there, right? And then we're just tossing it in that lovely pasta like that. And it should be light and delicious. And pasta is, is absorbing. So you might have to keep feeding a little bit of water, right? So it's when you go to Italy, like the nonnas are like, mangiare, mangiare, eat now, eat now. That means, you know, that's because it's constantly sort of sucking up the sauce. So we check that beautiful pasta. We taste it. You know, we might want a little bit more lemon juice, a little bit more salt and pepper. You might want a little bit more harissa. Let's Can I make three plates because yeah. my bestie is over there. Rossi. Yeah, okay, listen. Hi, 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 hi. So I'm not stupid, okay? I'm over there. I'm like, I need to be over here. I'm sorry, I have to. Come on. Thank you for plenty. Jamie Oliver. How often do you get to eat Jamie Oliver's food? This, my friend, is for you. Thank you. Have a little try. Okay. And we're going to give you a little drizzle of olive oil. Whatever what you do. say. Okay. Go for it. Thank you. That's all yours. Sorry. <laughs> okay. It just smells so good in here. Yeah, and it's cooked nice now. It's cooked nice. From your parents' pub, Jamie, is it true that, like, that is a part of where you discovered, like, being a chef is also like being a caretaker? Yeah. That you're, it's a very nurturing, loving thing to do with and for people. Yeah, yeah 100%. I think food brings people together. Uh, food can nourish you. Uh, and make you happy and, and live longer and the patterns that you have in your life. And, look, you get people with plates and people with pans. Yeah, right? <laughs> I like eat. But, um... Yeah, I think we're... I mean, Ross...
Murphy. We're gonna get to eat hot, fresh Jamie Oliver pasta. I, I cannot can't believe even it. Believe it. Cheers. Either. I love you. I love you. How's that prawn? You know, it's so good. This tastes like the ocean made pasta for us. By That's the way, what I was gonna like. say, this is what the ocean is supposed to taste like in food form. Now I understand I'm having that's a the real awakening. That's, mm. the, that's the flavor from the head, which might gross people out. It's delicious. That's what it's all no. about. Wow. This is I've incredible. Never used that. We will be right back. Oh my God. 